morning, scientists. This is Professor Howard standing by with your science experiment of the day. I hope you're ready. And here we go. What you'll need for the science experiment today is your paper done by Miss Bobby. She made a great science experiment paper for us. And if you have it in your packet, it's got that square in the middle for you to draw, the materials needed, and the experiment. So first we're going to write the words on top of it. And the words are called Growing Clear Crystals is the name of it. So I'll write Growing Clear There it is right there. Now, if you need trouble when we're not together, let me show you where it is on your paper. You have a science experiment paper right here. And it's sitting right there at the top. Glow, growing clear crystals. So here we go. So the first thing we need to do is we need to find out what our materials are. And I'll have you write these down in here. Now, right here you don't you can stop the video if you want and pause it but the answers are right up in here it tells you what we need for this experiment so the first thing it says we need a bag of super absorbent crystals yes it's written right there so I do want you to write it just like you see it written there over here on your material here it is my bag of super absorbent jelly crystals. This was in our science kit. One of the science kits we got. Tip them a little bit and see how those work. Very cool. And then the second thing it says I need is a nine ounce plastic cup. So I'm thinking this is pretty close. A measuring cup with water in it. Just a guess. I didn't see it anywhere in there, but I think maybe that's for the next part. But we'll, you, we'll do what they say. You just do what they say. The next thing it says is a two ounce plastic cup. So we're going to use this one for our two ounce plastic cup. And then the last thing it says we need is a blue scoop. Now I had trouble finding this today. It was buried under the brain. If you looked in the science kit when we got it, there's a brain in there and it got lost under the brain. Who knew, right? So there it is. It's my two ounce or my little plastic blue scoop. So here's what we do. It says you get it water. So I've got water in my cup over here. Try it. Open the bag of super absorbent crystals and fill one blue scoop with crystals. Pour into one two ounce cup and fill the cup with water. Okay. Step one. Open the bag of crystals. I might need some scissors to help me out here. In the bag of crystals. Okay. okay, there's the challenge right there, just opening the bag. Hold it. Okay, got it. Don't want to spill. Open the bag of crystals. Check. Next thing. Fill one blue scoop with crystals. And then pour into one's two ounce cup. Here's my scoop. Put in the crystals. Take it down a little bit. There we go. If you can see, I'll tip it up a little bit. Can you see it? There it is. And pour into a two ounce cup. There we go. All right, let me close the bag. And fill the cup with water. There we go. Fill the cup with water. Okay, 
Okay, there we go. As they begin to soak up all the water, you'll notice that the crystals get bigger and bigger and begin to change from white to crystal clear. Well, let's look at that right there. I don't notice them doing much yet. Maybe they're starting to turn. Yeah, I can see them starting to turn a little bit of crystal clear. Let's tip that up a little bit. You see the color change on them a little bit? They're going from white to clear. Let's see what else it says. It says, it takes the crystals at least several hours to reach their maximum size. So be patient. In fact, it's better if you grow them overnight. Okay, so what this means is that, oh, I can already see them getting a little bigger. Oh, this is cool. Can you see them? See how it was? they were just on the bottom of the cup when we first put it in? And now the cup's getting a little bit bigger with the crystals. But it says it takes a long time, like maybe even overnight. So here's what we'll do. We'll set it over here. And uh, check in with it before we're done with the experiment. And then we will see how they go next week. When we start up class, when we start videos next week, I'll take a video for them. Maybe even on the weekend. We'll see. Okay, so let's read what it says. It says, super absorbent crystals are safe to touch and squeeze through your fingers. Since they absorb water, that means to soak up. They may cause your plumbing system to have nightmares. Don't flush them, I guess is what it says. When you're finished, throw the crystals, dry or wet, in a trash can, not down the drain. All right, there we go. There's some special cautions with the science experiment. The scientific name for super absorbent crystals is cross-linked poly Polyacrylamide. Poly there we go. Polyacrylamide. See, even big people have kind of trouble with new words. Polyacrylamide copolymer gel, or super, poly super absorbent polymer for short. The crystals were originally developed to help farmers retain water in the soil between watering. If you look at the polymer with the microscope, you'll discover that it's simply a long chain of molecules that absorb water, lots of water. In fact, these tiny crystals soak up to 150 to 300 times their weight in water. And it says, save your clear hydrated crystals for additional activity. It looks like if I look on my thing here, it looks my, like my next activity one we'll do next year or next week is jelly crystals so it looks like we're going to need some more of those so we'll save them to see what they do well there you go good job scientists what i need you to do is list the materials that we used remember they're right here on your paper right at the top and then we're going to draw a picture showing what we did. So you can draw the cup, you can draw the crystals, the blue scoop, how we put it in the water, and how the crystals are starting to get bigger. And they are starting to get bigger. If I look at them, I'm gonna hold them up too. Can you see them starting to get bigger? Fill a little more of the glass in there. They're getting bigger and bigger on the bottom and they're turning from white to clear how fun this is a neat experiment and they kind of look like they're little moving a little slower in the water than they were before that's because they're absorbing all that water this is cool i think you'll have a great time with this so we'll hold on to these we'll save them for our next experiment um, i'll make sure the chickens don't drink them because that would be bad Never, never put anything in your mouth if you don't absolutely positively know what it is. And even though they said they're safe to touch, 
We should not ever put anything in our mouth that comes from the science kit at all. Only food goes in our mouth. So great job today. You did a great job with this. Put your drawing down. Send it to me in your next packet. And I look forward to seeing you in about an hour for our Zoom meeting. All right. Today we're going to do our Bible study. So good job today, scientists. Have a nice hour, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.